Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel for another video. We are just jumping right into it today and getting started in the kitchen. As you can see, it is quite a mess and I was really looking forward to getting this space cleaned up. I feel like I cannot function well when my kitchen is messy. So we are getting this tackled first and then we are going to be moving upstairs. One of the main things I was wanting to get done today was cleaning all of the bedrooms. I feel like I've been neglecting those areas and if you guys saw last week's video, you did hear that my entire family has been sick I feel like everybody got better for a couple of days and all of a sudden it wiped everyone out again I don't know what's going on if we just kind of pass the cold back and forth to each other again but everyone is sick again so I want to make sure the rooms are cleaned and disinfected and just make it a nice calm comfy place for everyone to just relax and hang out in so I really hope you all enjoy today's video and let's just get right into it I cannot be judged No, I won't have it, babe Not playing this game I do not feel ya I'm not crossing that day It would be a shame when I'm cleaning the kitchen, I do always like to start by cleaning off the countertops and wiping them down with some cleaner. This is just the process I always seem to follow. I feel like everyone has a routine or an order that they clean the different rooms in their homes in, and this is just the way I do the kitchen. It just makes me feel better before I'm pulling all of the clean dishes out of the dishwasher. So once we get all that done, we will be loading the dishwasher back up with the mountain of dishes that are in my sink, and I'm also going to be pulling the drawer out of my oven area because I notice as I'm vacuuming I am constantly just pushing crumbs and dirt and dust underneath there so I know it is going to be an absolute mess and probably really gross so I want to get that taken care of today as well. So I did pull out my entire stove unit probably back in January when I was doing my New Year's cleaning but I pulled the entire thing out to clean the sides and behind it and underneath it and this is just the accumulation of toys and food and dog fur that has just got collected underneath since then. I do want to probably pull the unit out every year just to catch all of the crumbs and gross stuff that can fall in between the counters and the stove but just pulling out this drawer is such an easy way to get underneath it and just give it a really good clean without too much effort. It's not too late to be heard, so tell me what I need to know. While I had my vacuum out, I decided to clean the area underneath my sink as well, just because I do have an issue with the dog fur getting stuck under this cupboard right here. I find the mat that I have kind of shoves it underneath, and I usually have to pick the dog fur out with my hands and a wet paper towel because the vacuum just does not suck it up, so that's what I'm doing here. So while we are cleaning up the dining room, I thought I would share an embarrassing but now funny story that happened to me while I was filming this video. It was while I was upstairs filming in the master bedroom, I set my tripod and my camera up in front of my window facing into the bedroom just because it gives the best light and it just showed the entire space. And I noticed that my neighbor across the way, so the house behind us, he was in his window kind of looking outside into my direction. I didn't think much of it and I just kept cleaning but then all of a sudden I looked up and there's two people in the window so I think he must have called somebody else from his home to come over and look out the window. 
Then as I'm still cleaning, like I said, I did not think much of it. They slowly started closing their blinds and then I clued in. They probably only saw the camera and maybe thought it was pointing in their direction and filming them or filming their house or filming into their home. And I don't know, but I was completely mortified. I moved the camera immediately and now I will always wonder if that's what they thought I was doing. Unfortunately, I do not know the neighbors that live behind us or of course I would explain myself but I am sorry if you are watching this which I know you are not or you would have known what I was doing but I promise I am not creepy and I was just filming for my job so I thought that was funny and I am going to be much more conscious when I have the camera near a window because I really don't want anyone to think that I am trying to film them or anything like that but uh, I am very embarrassed. <laughs> So wrap your arms around me like a borderline Our fortress in the jungle, baby, we are right We don't care much for people like them We don't care much for people like them But I lay on my mind, I'm feeling so fly up in the zone now I'm like a golden crown After finishing up in the kitchen, we did head upstairs to get started in the master bedroom and you probably will notice I am wearing a different outfit for the first three or four clips of cleaning in here and that is because I did actually start filming the day before but it was just not working out. I felt like the kids were needing me every second and I just really didn't get anything done. Those days can be super frustrating when you are feeling ambitious and wanting to tackle it all but real life happens, mom life happens and sometimes you get nothing done but that is okay I did pick up the camera the next day which is when I filmed the kitchen and everything else so I will be back in the same outfit probably in the next clip and we are just going to be picking up where we left off I just didn't want to waste the few clips that I did have from the day before my heart's beating fast when it's looking like that Oh, your smile is killing me It's the way that it moves and the way that it laughs So I can't get enough Think about him all the time I can get him off my mind Oh, I want him to be so a lot of the times that I am filming, you guys may notice that even if the bedrooms are a disaster, the beds are usually always made. That is because making the bed is the first thing I do every single morning when I wake up. It is just a habit now. The second I crawl out of my bed, I turn around and I make it. Even before hopping in the shower most mornings, I just find it to be such a good way to start my day. It really starts me on the right foot and even if I get nothing else to accomplished in that entire day. I feel so much better crawling into a made bed when I'm going to bed that night. If you want, all the way that I feel, you yeah, know that it's real, cause I can get him out of my head. I don't care what we do, everything's really new, even if we're staying in bed. I ought to say yeah, 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 yeah. You know I want him na, 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 na. I ought to say yeah, 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 yeah. As I was tidying up in here, I did actually decide to go through Quinn's drawers and go through all of her clothes and put aside the things that are no longer fitting her, which as you guys will see, ended up being a ton of stuff. I cannot believe how quickly she is growing. She is going to be four months old. Actually, the day you guys are seeing this on the 28th and time is just flying by and it makes me want to cry. As I was going through these clothes, I was getting so emotional knowing that this is the last time I'm going to be going through baby clothes that are this small and I'm putting them in this box to sell or donate and we're not storing it anymore so it is just really bittersweet and like I said it is making me emotional even just talking about it but it is kind of exciting to close this chapter of our lives but definitely bittersweet
So now that her drawers have been went through and emptied out, I feel like I can finally fold her laundry that I did the other day. It has been sitting on this TV stand longer than it should be, but I knew I was wanting to go through her drawers. So now that that has been done, I have tons of space and room to get this stuff put away and sorted. Now that everything has been picked up and put away and wiped down, we are going to be moving on to my favorite part of cleaning any room, which is vacuuming. I feel like vacuuming always just makes a room look and feel so much cleaner. Now that we are finished in here, we are just going to be moving out into the hallway right outside my bedroom. This is an area you guys do not see very often, mostly because there is really not much to see, but lately it has been such a catch-all and clutter magnet for us. We are throwing the diaper genies out here. We are getting a collection of garbage and laundry, so I'm just going to go through, pick up everything, and just make sure it is looking a lot cleaner than it is right now. Now we are going to be moving on into the kids rooms. The very first thing I am wanting to do is strip all of their bedding and get that in the wash. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the kids have had colds so I just want to get everything sanitized and cleaned and give them nice fresh bedding and hopefully that can just push the sickness out of our house. I did also say that it seems like we keep cycling through it so we did get sick probably 10 days ago or so. Everyone had a cold for probably a about three or four days and then it seemed like everyone was getting better and things were going good for a couple days and then Justin and Rowan got wiped out again they got another cold were probably worse than the first time and then they started getting better and now all of a sudden they're sick again and so I don't know what's going on it is super super frustrating I seem to be in true mom fashion the only one that is not getting sick this third time around because I am in charge of taking care of everyone else which is so good I would much rather not be sick while I'm having to do that but I'm really hoping we all just feel better and you guys will have to let me know if that's ever happened to you guys in your house because I don't think it's ever happened to us and I really don't know why it's happening.
After I was finished wiping down everything in Rowan's room, I decided to just grab a pack of Lysol and start wiping all of the doorknobs and light switches down with a Lysol wipe. This is something I should do a lot more often, but is honestly not something I really think about, but it is something I need to try and do a lot better on, especially during cold season. I'm sure if we tested doorknobs and light switches in our houses, we would be absolutely horrified with how disgusting and dirty they are. They are probably the germiest things in our entire house so I want to make this more of a habit but I'm just going through wiping down all of the handles upstairs wiping down all of the light switches and I did end up heading downstairs later on in the day to do this downstairs as well Now that my kids are getting a little bit older, I am really wanting to start getting into doing the themed crafts with them or the holiday baking. I just love doing that stuff and I feel like those are some of the best memories that you can make with your kids. But I would love to know if you guys would be interested in me showing a little bit of that in my cleaning videos. So if we do a fun Halloween cupcake or a new fall recipe, is that something you guys would want me to show in my cleaning videos or would you rather me stick just to cleaning? I am a cleaning channel and I absolutely love doing that and if you guys are just here for the motivation please let me know but if you would like to see me do a little bit of something different just to add something a little bit different into each video let me know down in the comments because I would love to hear your opinions and if we're good the way we are. I think I mentioned in last week's video that Justin and I are in desperate need of doing a basement declutter and organize. I want to buy a ton of matching bins and label them and just get everything in order down there. It is an absolute mess and I will actually be showing you guys a clip of downstairs in a minute or so here. I did ask if you guys were wanting to see that and so many of you said yes, but I did want to show you the basement because there is definitely nothing glamorous about it. It is, in my opinion, dark and dreary and it is just not well lit, so I'm not sure if it really is something you guys are interested in. So like I said, I want to show you guys the clips and just get your opinions again. If you are wanting to see a basement declutter, I'm sure it looks like mostly everybody's basements. It is not finished or anything, but here it is. I will show you guys and you will have to let me know if it is still something you would love to see from me. Okay, so this is our shelving unit. We do have shelving all along here and all of this stuff was supposed to be on the shelving, but as you can see, it's not. We have pretty much nothing on the shelves. We can probably get rid of half of the stuff down here. And then on this side is just other stuff, seasonal stuff, baby stuff that we are not using. We just have a pile of cardboard over here. When we empty something out of the deep freeze, we just throw it there. I, I don't, I don't know. I have no excuses, but yeah, this is what we're working with and it needs some serious help. So if you guys want to see this, let me know down below because I would be happy to film it because it's really bad. And then that side's just our gym, which is good. That's the only clean area down here. So, whew, she bad. I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions. Get to know you better. Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? So the very last area I was tackling today is the playroom. We aren't doing anything crazy up here, but as you can see, it was in desperate need of a good pickup, getting everything back where it belongs, and I'm also going to be vacuuming in here. 
I am really wanting to start working on a major toy declutter up here, especially with the holidays coming up. We do have Rowan's birthday in the middle of October, and then of course Christmas is coming, and my kids are very fortunate, and they get spoiled by so many of our family and friends, and now that I have three kids, I feel like we are just going to get bombarded with new stuff and having nowhere to put it. So I want to go through this room and get rid of a ton of the toys that they no longer play with. I do have a little bit of an issue doing Doing that because as my kids are growing out of the baby and toddler toys I feel like Quinn is growing into them and I have a really hard time getting rid of stuff that I think she will use so I'm definitely trying to figure that fine line out and just navigating the toy situation up here That is going to be it for today's video. I was so exhausted by the end of this day, but it was such a productive one, which always makes me feel so good. But I could not stop thinking about how much I would love to just crawl into bed and watch the shows that I am watching. I am currently watching The Circle on Netflix and Good Girls. Those are the two things that I have really been enjoying. Let me know down below if you have any other good recommendations. I know we did talk about Manifest a couple videos back, and it apparently has been picked up by Netflix. Netflix, so there will be a season four and I am very excited about it, but I am getting off topic I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did Please don't forget to leave it a thumbs up down below and leave me emoji Letting me know that you made it all the way till the end and I will see you all next Tuesday with a brand new video. Bye guys Something in the air, always something